Hi everyone, we're back with more Siberia the world before. We left off with the guys. Uh, we just saw some kind of ape over there off in the distance, and now we gotta figure out how to get to him and rescue him. Kira is too strong to swim across. Better find another way. Okay. Machete. Okay. I don't think this is gonna work. This does not seem to be working. Oh, well, I guess it did. Whoops, I missed that up. Leon, now is not the time to get a dunking. Yeah, since it's probably extremely cold, you'll end up dying from hypothermia. Take it easy. I'm not going to hurt you. It's wearing shorts. I just want to look at your wound. Um, what can I give him to show I mean no ill? Um... I don't know what I should give him. Maybe some water? Thirsty little fella? Okay, the biscuits. There you go. I mean, what if it's a terrible biscuit? Good boy. It's all right. Don't be afraid. You're all right, fella. Okay. Good, Good boy. Eat up, fella. Back. I guess that was a terrible biscuit. Probably thinks you're trying to poison him. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> Leg broken. I just want to look at it, all right? Look, little fella, if you let me see your wound, you can have another biscuit later, yes? 
You act like he can understand you. It's I broken a lot. Must be very painful. You're a brave boy. If I could clean the wound and brace your leg, we should be able to get you back to camp and make it better. Hold on. I'll be right back. Just be patient, little fella. I'll be right back. They're straight enough to help get the Gorun back to camp. I don't think we really want to take him back to camp. The Gorun might become anxious if I leave now. There must be something around here I can use to take care of him. I could use those creepers to tie up the Gorun's splint. They seem to be stuck. They should do fine to hold the Goran's splint together. Here we go, fella. This is going to sting a little. I don't think taking oh. him back to camp is a very good idea. There. Wasn't so bad, was it? Now we just need to find a way to get you back across. Writing? Hey, did you do that, little fella? Well, <laughs> better drawing than talking, huh? Now we just have to wait for the others. And the others are just gonna capture him. Or kill him. Huh? Oh! You want another biscuit? <laughs> you learn quick. It was a young specimen, my darling Dana. Almost like a child. And as soon as we made eye contact, I knew this was a creature endowed with reason. Okay. Yep, here are the others. When my companions joined me, I immediately sensed we did not share the same point of view. You should have already known that. They seemed blinded by the discovery. They couldn't see the individual. What did you think was going to happen? This guy is not very intelligent.
It was clear the young Goran wasn't a person in their eyes, just a subject for study. In their excitement, they seemed to lose all common sense. What is wrong with it? Fruit! Have some fruit! You shut him up in a cage! What do you expect? He's frightened! Shut it up, or I'm going to gag it! Yep, here come the others. What's that? Wow, make horns? Oh no, I think it's just the music. Locate the source of the cry. I mean, what do you think was going to happen? It's a Yeti. Must be the Gorn's mother. If we give it back, she'll probably leave. And deprive us of an adult specimen? Are you mad? All right, Mama. Look at the size of her burger. Wound her. It will never get her back alive. Who said we needed her alive? They can't all be live specimens, can they? No! Yeah, with a broken leg, he would not be running around like that at all. Sorry about that, Bugger. But I couldn't let you shoot them. Did he kill him? Why not? You alright? But he... he's killed Burger. Oh, this sucks. Bauer, wait. Y you saw. It was an accident. He was going to kill the Gorin, sir. So I... I... I had no intention to... Shut it, assassin! I mean, obviously he makes it out somewhat all right, or at least alive, because he wrote a letter about what happened. Okay. What can we use? We can talk to him or observe at least. Okay. Looks like they're busy. Probably discussing what to do with me. If I can just loosen these ties, I'll be able to slip away without them noticing. I know what dangers await me in the mountain if I manage to escape from here. Oh dear lord. Burger, I'm sorry. I never meant to. I mean, I'd rather take my chances in the forest than with these people at this camp. Okay, I've done both those. There ain't nothing else. Oh. 
Okay. What, am I a rock? What is a rock going to do? I'll bring him some soup. We can't let him starve to death. Bastard doesn't deserve food. Typical horse, eh? Always the good Samaritan. Aren't you afraid I was going to run for it? They intend to hand you over to the authorities in Kantar for the murder of Reinhard Berger. Convenient for them. Well, that's not how it's going to be. I don't agree with what you did. But you don't deserve what Bauer and Jaeger intend for you. You must pretend to be tied up. Wait for them to fall asleep. Then take your gear and get as far away from here as possible. Hear me? So yes, now we're going to go on the run. And be a fugitive, just like Kate. So there you have the full story, my darling Dana. Not really. I mean, where, where'd you go? I don't know what will become of me. Where my escape will lead me over the coming weeks. Or what my life of a murderer on the run will be like. Okay. He somehow got loose. Wrote an entire letter. And then left it. Hoping that one person would do the right thing and actually mail the letter. But always remember that my love for you is as strong as ever, and that my greatest desire is to hold you in my arms. I love you more than anything in the world. Leon, your mountain artist. Dana! Oh my goodness! Dana! What's wrong, puppet? Lena, come quick! So she fainted? Fell ill from heartbreak. Dear Diary, So much has happened since I received Leon's letter a few days ago. I'm slowly recovering. Today, Papa and Mama told me that I was going to leave for a while. I'll explain what's going on, but I don't know where to begin. I need to gather my thoughts as I finish packing my suitcase. Is she pregnant? I think she's pregnant with Leon's baby. The medication to treat my cough. Mama is forcing me to take it again since I collapsed after getting Leon's letter. I should pack it. I need to finish packing my suitcase before we say goodbye, dear diary. I can't believe Leon is on the run, all alone in those mountains in the middle of winter. Sucks. Come on, Dana. There were enough tears already. As I said, dear diary, I'm leaving tomorrow. Papa and Mama are sending me to a sanatorium out of town for a few months. 
They say it's for continuing my convalescence. In other words, to send me and my secret away from prying eyes. Because she's an unwed mother. My parents have accepted the offer from their longtime friends, the Zimmers, to pay for my hospitalization at the sanatorium. The Zimmers said it was in the name of their long friendship with Papa and Mama. But I think they feel bad that they can afford to flee Wagen in the brown shadow, whereas Mama and Papa can't. I mean, I just don't understand what the point is in shipping her away. I mean, they're going to force her to have the child and then give it up? I mean, otherwise you're just coming back with the child. The ideal summer and winter resort in the most picturesque and enchanting spot looking over the River Dombra. Well, let's hope that's true. Yeah, I got a feeling it's not. There's a lot to look at. Papa and Mama have locked me up in here since they discovered my condition. I'm going to miss playing the piano while I'm away, let alone going to the academy. They might have a piano where you're going. I hope you are well, Leon, wherever you are now. That's an exit. Poor Papa and Mama. They were devastated when the doctor they called after I collapsed discovered my secret. That secret I dared not speak about to anyone. Not even you, dear diary. Now I can tell you. I'm pregnant, dear diary. Leon is the father. There were a lot of tears and screams when the doctor told Papa and Mama. They finally decided to pretend that the baby will be the foster child of a missing relative. Oh my gosh. I know everyone expects me to feel guilty, but I can't help thinking of names. If it's a boy, of course it'll be Leon. To bring his father good luck. And if it's a girl, I think I'll call her Anna. Papa looks ten years older since he learned of my pregnancy. Mama says Leon is nothing but an unscrupulous adventurer who took advantage of an innocent girl. But I know it's not true. I mean, honestly, I kind of agree with her. But whatever. I'm backing out of that because I feel like if I put everything in there, I'm going to suddenly be trapped. No need to go in the bathroom. I've already packed my toiletries and it's late. I shouldn't roam about in the house. I was planning to give up all my old toys and dolls. But now I guess I'm going to need them in a few years. I could have swore there was something else over here that was showing. I'll put you away in there as soon as I'm done, dear diary. Better to keep you safe than risking to lose you where I'm going. Mm. 
I'm almost done here. I just need to add my medicine. And there we go. We got all three items. Well, that should be it. Close the suitcase. All I need to do now is to conclude my diary entry and hide it somewhere safe with Leon's letter. Come on. And then here, it's now you know prepared. everything, dear diary. It is now, I guess the time to say goodbye for a while so I'm guessing she did go through with it she gave up the child and that's probably Kate's mother that Leon will survive winter in those faraway mountains and that he will find a way to come home and clear his name. We will wait until then, me and the baby. think there might be a family connection between you, Kate Walker? Yes, most definitely. Well, all I know is that my family on my mother's side came from Europe. Well, like a lot of New Yorkers, right? I, I don't know from where exactly, but... And then... There's the music box my mother left me, which it turns out plays the Wagen anthem. I mean, it all seems so... so magical. Almost like destinies at play. Or a coincidence, Kate Walker. The law of coincidences states that the more an individual is liable to believe in coincidences, the more coincidences happen to them. But then there's the fact, the fact, Oscar, that everyone keeps telling me Dana and I look so much alike. Yeah. What do you plan on doing now, Kate Walker? According to the diary, Dana left for a sanatorium outside of town. The records might tell what became of her and her baby. But before we go, there's something that's been bothering me. What is it, Kate Walker? The pogrom that Frau Heigl told us about, the one during which the house and the neighborhood were ransacked, happened in 1938, if I recall correctly. Dana said that she was leaving for the sanatorium for a few months at the end of 1937. Indeed, Kate Walker. So it is very likely she was safe and sound over there when the pogrom occurred. Yes. But what if... What if she was home with her baby? I need to be sure before we leave for the sanitarium, Oscar. We need to search the neighborhood for more evidence. All right, Kate Walker. Where you lead, I will follow. As long as you don't forget your bag. Trust me, Oscar. You're the only friend I've got right now. Yeah. I ain't losing you. Yeah, everyone else is gone. Okay, anything else? Now, how are we gonna get out? Just back down the stairway? Threats, 
riddled with misspellings and signed, Frank Hoss, that member of the Brown Shadow who had it in for Leon at the refuge. Looks like he never forgave them and was after Dana during the pogrom. Indeed, Kate Walker, but the very existence of this message could mean she wasn't home when those tragic events occurred. That's true. We're getting close, but it's not enough to draw conclusions yet. So, according to that letter, Dana was supposed to stay at the sanatorium until December 1938. Looks like there were medical complications. Uh, let's see. Dear Her Rose, please accept my heartfelt thanks for the new don donation that Her Zimmer made to our institution on your behalf. Therefore, it is my pleasure to inform you that Donna can remain with us until December 1938 as you asked. It is indeed the most reasonable thing to do regarding the deterioration in her health. Please rest assured that we will continue to keep good care of her. Did that just mean further along in the pregnancy, or was there That's a good clue, I guess. But I need to find more. Dana's initials. We were on the other side of this wall earlier, Kate Walker. It's like we've gone through a looking glass. I do not understand, Kate Walker. Forget it. I don't know what I'm saying. If you say so, Kate Walker. I guess we're going to go back down the fire escape. about checking the rest of the neighborhood. I don't want to go back in there. Can't go that way. Can't leave now. There are still things to do here. Okay. Oh, there's a fence there. I guess we're going to go back in and talk to her real quick, just to rule her out. I hope you won't hold it against me. Okay. Where else in the neighborhood can we check? This way, and I didn't see nothing. Ackerman, Fisher, Yorga. I can't find Dana here. In loving memory of all those who lost their lives that terrible night. Keller, Meyer, Ortel. I'm getting close. Some of the names are covered up with dirt. How can I clean it? Dana isn't mentioned here. Some of the names are covered up with dirt. How can I clean it? It's like no one ever cleans his monument. Anton and Lena Rose. Tana's parents. Oh, God. They were killed during the pogrom. Is Dana Rose also mentioned? It doesn't look like it, no. But I need to be sure. Can I look? And the fact her name isn't there, I'm pretty sure we're good. Just don't 
know where where else. there being anything else isn't there a book stand of some kind yeah right here huh according to that book the pogrom occurred at the beginning of November 1938 yeah, so she was still off at the sanatorium. September 15th, 1935. Anti-Vigarian laws are passed. March 12th, 1938. Osterthal is annexed by the Brown Shadow. November 9th, 1938. The Brown Shadow organizes a night of pogroms against the Vigarian community. Especially those living under the Bridge of Mists. October 30th, 1943, the Allies declare that the annexation of Osterthal and Austria were null and void. April 13th, 1945, Allied forces led by the Red Army liberated Vahen after intensive bombing. April 28th, 1945, Osterthal's independence is proclaimed. Yeah, so she was still off at the sanitarium when they invaded. I think that's it, Oscar. We know that the pogrom occurred at the beginning of November 1938. Dana's parents, Anton and Lena, were killed, that's certain. But Dana was supposed to be at the sanatorium back then. Which seems to be confirmed by that message Herr Hoss left in the house, Kate Walker. Exactly. So I guess we're done here, Oscar. Let's take the tram back to the guest house. We'll try to find that sanitarium first thing tomorrow. You know, while this story's all great and all that, you're still a fugitive on the run. Where is the tram? Was it back this way? Yeah. So while this adventure's all great and you're learning a little family history, probably bring you some closure about your mother's death, you're still in the same situation. Still on the run, like Leon. Oh, there she is. The famous Kate Walker. Sorry, what? Donna Rose. What? I knew her very well, you know. Our Donna, darling. Waiting for the tram, aren't you? Well, we'd be better off speaking at the guest house. I hear there's a storm coming. Who are you? Pleased to make your acquaintance, Miss Walker. Colonel Blake. Colonel Blake or Fräulein Junta? <laughs> Connecting the dots, are we? You're a very clever young woman. But you must be eager to know why I'm here in front of you, bearing the surname of one of Her Majesty's military officers. <laughs> <laughs> but here's our tram. Would you be so kind? How, how did she know? Did we come across her at some point? I, I don't remember. <laughs> Unless someone radioed ahead. And told her that we were searching. But the only person I think of would be Lenny. It's 
So, Miss Walker, you've been rather quiet. I would have thought you'd have some questions for me. No? Why did you change your name? I didn't. I just took it back. You see, I was born and raised in London. My parents were diplomats from Austria. Janet Blake was always my real name. And how did you become a British military officer? It doesn't sound like the usual career path for a famous artist. <laughs> Very true indeed, Miss Walker. But I actually have been both during my lifetime. The British Secret Service hired me as soon as they heard I was going to work close to the brown shadow in Ostertal. Uh, back in the 30s, that was, just before I met Dana at the refuge. So that you were some kind bit. of double agent? You make it sound more romantic than it really was, miss. But yes, I guess one could say so. You mentioned the guest house. Are you that other guest I heard about? Indeed, Miss Walker. It's actually Frau Wagner who told me about you. When she told me that you were looking for Dana, I knew I had to talk to you. Frau Wagner told me to call the Academy, which I did, and the Rector then redirected me towards the Bridge of Mist. And that's how I ended up wandering up and down it, asking about a mysterious American woman with a painting. Makes sense. I guess you have new information about Dana for me? I might very well indeed, Miss Walker, but what if you told me first what that little investigation of yours has dug up about Dana? Huh? Why not? I know Dana was very concerned about Leon being on the run after the death of that scientist, Herr Berger. I, I can't blame her. How could he survive through the winter all alone in the mountains in a strange country? How could he? That's exactly the right question, Miss Walker. That origin expedition in Baltayar, what a mess that was. Well, you should know if he's alive or not. I mean... I discovered today that Dana became pregnant that summer of 37. Leon was the father. So her parents decided to hide her in a sanatorium outside town. Which, I assume, saved her from the night of the brown shadow pogroms. It did. Save in Wagen. You assume right. But her parents, on the other hand. Yes, I heard they didn't make it. Poor bastards, if you'll pardon my French. So, that's basically all I know. Can you tell me what happened to Dana after she left for the sanatorium to have her baby? I must confess, Miss Walker, that I was afraid you might overlook some of the painful information here, which is clearly the case. What do you mean? I... look, I think it would be best if we stay in this carriage until the very end. I know it is an odd request to make, but you really must see this for yourself. Well, I... Until then, I recommend you look outside the window. I guarantee it'll be worth your while. At least get her name, her number, or address. That way, if you can't find the information, you can at least go to her and get it closing to the story. That's what I would do at least. Okay, so it also turns into a boat. Wow. That's a pretty impressive little tram.
I'm sorry, Miss Walker, but chasing you around that bridge was more exhausting than I thought. That's okay. I can wait. Ah, nonsense. I know how eager you are to find out about Dana. So you go first. I'll meet you at section 08. I'll come meet you there. Why not just leave? Okay then. And don't forget, miss. Section 08. Find it, and I'll meet you there. Oof. Cold as hell here. Oh. Whoops. No. I don't want to do that. <laughs> the great vegan swans are not only the immortal symbols of our town, they are living and fragile beings. Please do not feed the swans. <laughs> Wrong and uncontrolled feeding can cause illness and be fatal to them. <coughs> <clears throat> yes, it can be. It can cause all kinds of problems. How the heck do I get myself into these situations? I thought I saw something off to the left that I could look at. Huh. Maybe I was mistaken. There we go. These ruins, they look like they're from the Middle Ages or something. Is this what's left of the sanatorium? It was bombed and destroyed? There's something sinister about all this. Have no fear, Kate Walker. The sun's setting, and you're all alone in an isolated and derelict place. Statistically speaking, it is highly improbable that you'll meet anybody, good or bad. Thank you, Oscar, but please do me a favor. Stop trying to reassure me, would you? Yeah, as you just made it worse. I mean, that was like the definition of sinister. Grim. Off over here. This place gives me the creeps. Looks like. Oh, jeez. A graveyard? Yep, with mausoleums. And you're getting towards the hour of twilight, which makes it even creepier. What is it, Kate Walker? This place, it's. It's a cemetery, Oscar. I think Dana's... Oh my god, she must have... Don't jump to hasty conclusions yet, Kate Walker. You should try and find that spot that Colonel Blake mentioned. Section 08. Yes, I... Okay, let's... Section 08 is over there. I don't have time to get lost in that maze. Is there anything that requires my assistance? Oh, is that what that is? Better try something else. No. Must have got it wrong. I'm gonna need you to be my eyes, Oscar. Will do. Just call me whenever you need directions. Call you on what? I mean, I literally can't just wander around. Impossible to read. Section D. Can you guide me, Oscar? Hmm. Just leave me a second. So 
So I need to go straight, right, straight. I don't think this is going to be easy. Okay. The inscription has faded away. Anything. Section G. Section G, and there's an outhouse. The undertakers must store their tools in it. Not an outhouse, a shed. Sorry. It needs a key. Doesn't look that strong, though. Yeah, I don't got nothing. Section K. A dead end. I'll have to go back. Yep, I knew it, because O is right up there. And it's never just a straight shot. Looking for a crowbar, a shovel. Can go up there. What's over here? Impossible to get through here. Better find another way. Ugh, it's not here. I need directions. It's really not that complicated. I'm just looking for something. Because I have a feeling we need to go into that shed. Section M. Oh, illegible. Section O. That's it. That was not difficult at all. It was literally a straight shot, pretty much. Anna Rose, 1938 gone to a better place. Oh no. Did she die from the pregnancy? <laughs> or maybe it's a trick. Maybe they put her grave there to get people off her tail and she really survived. And then moved to New York with her baby. What? What happened? Dana's health had deteriorated at the Santorium. Her coughing fits, the pregnancy, and all the stress about Leon being on the run out there in Baltayar. It was just too much for her to bear. The doctors had to put her to sleep before her delivery. There were complications, and when she woke up... Her parents told her the terrible news. They had already buried the baby girl. So she lost the baby? How come the Brown Shadow didn't go after Dana? They controlled Ostertal back then, right? Oh, they would have eventually, believe me. And afterwards? Dana became sterile because of the complications during childbirth. So she remained at the sanatorium a few months more. She was devastated, poor darling. That's how she survived the pogroms. Yes, but that didn't mean she was safe. So what happened afterwards? Dana lost everything. Her parents, her baby, Leon. 
I think she would have just given up if I hadn't been there that day. But I had to go to London. Back then, I used to get invited every year or so to all kinds of artistic events. I could then make out my report to the British Secret Service without arousing the Brown Shadow's suspicion. So I took Dana with me to save her from them. This is not making sense. Then how are you related? So that grave, that was the baby. Donna stayed in London for about six years. I found her a flat and a position with my real employer, the Foreign Office. She had no family, no friends, and in a way she had no life. She spent every minute she had in the office fighting in her own way against those who took everything from her. She went from one promotion to another, and soon she was among those in charge of coordinating all the resistance fighter groups pertaining to the different occupied countries of Europe. Dana, focus. The Admiralty needs us to spot the enemy units on the map according to the reports they provided. Alright, I think I'm going to stop it here and I'll pick up again with Donna's story. We'll see you next time.